then. You want to leave me, I get it. What? Well, no one likes a coward, do they? You know, my own husband, and wouldn't I do nothing? What are you talking about? And there's me thinking that you're worried about me or, or taking over your dad's business, not... Not some random attack by a little homophobic scumbag. Well, then you, it ain't exactly random, is it? Yeah, but we're here, Ben. Me and you, we're, we're fine. Look, I, I promise you I will do everything that I can to get someone to fix this, all right? I promise you. After everything that we've been through, Ben, this... <laughs> We can fix this. Start by changing the subject. Where are you going? Ben, where are you going? I said I'd meet Pam. Right, OK, yeah, good. Uh, then maybe you can talk to her. All right, or not, or not. Just let me come with you, at least. Ben, I wasn't having a go this morning. I, I don't and never will think that you're a coward. Good news, boys. You can dust off your hot pants because the police have said we can reopen the Albert very soon. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and seeing as my tight well grandson has got me to cover for him, why don't we celebrate by getting you both something to eat on Peter? Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. We'll have a look at the menu. We're, and we're not eating. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for thinking of his mum. That's all right, darling. Any time. Bottling things up like this, Ben, it's only going to make things worse. But why don't, why don't we see a counsellor? What? I'm sorry I'm late. Honey insisted on feeding me another slice of cake, and then walking over, there's some sort of fuss with the police at the top of the square. It's uh, lovely to see you again, Pat. Uh, what can I get you? I, I need some air. Well, yes, that's all f fine by me. Yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll go over the park then. Well, we don't see each other much. Maybe we should just do the two of us, yeah? Right, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, uh, I'll see you later then. Staying. <sighs> oh, I knew it. I got Bobby moping about the place because him and Darnley split up, apparently. Not that he tells me anything. And now you and Ben are having a domestic. Then again, Ben could pick a fight at a pacifist convention. It's not that. Ever since those blokes came for us, Ben's been, um... He's shaking up everything that happened with Paul. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, why didn't I think about that? He's really not OK, Kathy, and I... I don't know how to fix him. Help! We need your help. You're not in a good time, Kathy. It wasn't a request. 